Ah, uh, there we go. Hope you guys are having a good day. I think you got the translation. Yeah, so welcome back. We're playing some Derby Craft stuff and things. And, um, I've been thinking a lot about what we're gonna do here. And I thought it would be cool to maybe do an underground base. So that's maybe something that we're gonna be getting into. It means a lot of things. Underground base, not the easy, not underground base, underwater base. That's what I meant to say. So actually, let's, a man becomes a dolphin. Hold on, a man becomes a dolphin very quickly so we don't drown. And yeah, so I was thinking about doing it in underwater base. I think it would be pretty cool. There's dolphins. There's all such a cool wildlife. Everything looks really rad down here. So, oh, how do we go downward? Oh, so slowly downward with shifting. And so we have all these cool, like, vegetation and lighting down here. And I just thought it would be really, really fun. Ocean Craft is in this. But, you know, one of the things, uh, while I was swimming around looking for a location for the underwater base, I saw this thing right here. And I'm not sure what it is, this thing. Let, let us break a block. And see what you are. Are you just a solid... Oh, there sounds like there's something in there. It sounds like there's something crazy going on up in this piece. Are you maybe in the middle? If we break a block in the middle? I hear like mobs and stuff. Can we go down a one wide one deep hole? We cannot. Uh we need to become a smaller fish. Let us find a smaller fish. Fishy! So let's explore this real quick, even though it's super dark. The other thing I want to try to figure out is where we can get some night vision. Um, cause this is like super dark, no bueno dark. Like I hear all the stuff in here, but... I don't think there's anything in here. Uh, okay, we've gone far enough. Oh, swim up! Wait. Wait, how come we're a fish? How come we can't swim? Fish can't swim up! What the crap? And we're back, and today I think we are going to try to set up a basic AE system thing. And so, I've been doing some work. First, let me give you an update on Icewind. He has decided to live in this cave. I don't know why. I don't know if he went in here to go to the bathroom, and then he couldn't get his, find his way out. I don't know why Icewind wants to be in here. But this is where Icewind lives now. So, and I was going to, like, take him out, like, no, Icewind, but you know what? He's a big boy. He is smart enough to know what he likes. It keeps him out of the rain. There's several options that make that really great. So, um, also, I've done this. So, I'll show you that in a second. It's very simple. Those of you who have played video games before will understand exactly what's going on. There's my tail. And we're back, and it's daytime. All right, so... What I've done here is just make a basic, very, very basic automation for an Applied Energistics Inscriber. So I've got, um, with the tools with which we are provided in Derpy Craft, we have a hopper on top, a hopper on the side, we got chests down here, we got this um, Ender, or what is it, yeah, Ender IO item conduit squirts it up into there, this is Ender IO item conduit squirts it out into here. And I have AFK'd and made a huge amount of stuff and things. So we have made a ton of these. And so just to show you how it all works, I think I've already got, oh no, we would need a, what, calculation press, right? Because this is a, oh no, we need an engineering press. Engineering press, squirt it in, bam, squirt in diamonds into here, uh, bam, diamonds then squirt into here. This then makes this goes up, and then that man makes this, those, that. And then this then squirts that into here, and then it is amazing. And it works. We can do the same thing if we put the silicone, um, or silicon, the silicon, printed silicon kins down in the bottom here. And we were trying to make, like, one of the logic processors or something like that. They're very straightforward, very simple to make. Um, and we put redstone in one, and we put, the, like, printed logic circuits in the top, or whatever in this case. Well, there is no case. But, um, yeah, so it is a thing, and it is automated, and we have made a ton of it. So this can help us on our road to Applied Energistics. So we want an ME drive now. Let us... This is a whole... I don't like our area here. Every This isn't how I normally do things. Everything's all, like, on the ground. I don't do that. I build a building, like a huge building, and we're going to get into that. Once we get the quarry and the AE, well, the AE, we need to get the quarry, a place for the quarried items to go. So once we get AE, then we can set up the quarry, then we will have the items, then we can build the stuff and things. So I'm figuring we're just going to go straight 
to 64k. Why even why even screw around? Let's just go straight for 64k stuff and things and not even mess around with it. So if we put that in there, we're gonna get 64 of each one of those things. So let's take a look at the 64k storage disk and what we need in order to make this. So we need three 16s, that means we need nine 4Ks, that means we need 27 1Ks. Redstone, calculation processors, and quartz glass. I have made a bunch of quartz glass as well. Crap, where did I put it? All right, here it is. There's quartz glass. Oh, we've already got a bunch of stuff in there too. Um, I'm, and so we need these guys. Let's go back down the rabbit hole again. Uh, we need engineering processors as well. Uh, these guys, calculation processors, glowstone, okay, and redstone. So, we ha I've got some glowstone right here. We have a little bit. Oh, also, I made some stuff and put it up in here in the dupe tower, too. Let me show you the new things that we're duping. Um, I have one just right here for... I did hoppers because I was using them. And then up in here, I just put in some new stuff here. So, bookshelves for books, glowstone, and then also I made the Certus Quartz block from AE2 so that we have a basically unlimited Certus Quartz now as well. So, we're doing really good. That stuff was really good. It was a good idea to do it, and we have it now. So, the next thing we need is redstone. Let's squirt over here. I was also looking around in the mods really quickly to try to find a way to teleport um, from one place to another. I don't think there's, like, any way to do it. I can't think... I can't find a way in this pack to teleport anywhere. So, not really sure exactly how that's all going to work out. Um, but we'll figure it out. All right. So, if we go down into here, into here, and... Bam, we need, oh, is it just nine? Was I right? Was it just, I can't remember now. I'm not counted backwards. Three of these, nine of these. So this guy, three of these, bam. Bam, we did it. Look how easy it was. Oh my God, we have 60, ooh, we have 64K storage disk. So now we want one of these guys. Oh, uh, we just need, oh, we're a little bit jinky there. Um, a little bit of iron ingot, and bam, nailed it. Asic, can we stop? 64k storage stuff and things, baby. And that was really easy to do. That wasn't real. That wasn't difficult at all. So now we've got 64k storage up in this piece. If we put an energy acceptor here, and then I think I've got one left of the RF exciters. So if we take our RF exciter, squirt that down like so. This is powered. Oh my God, it's powered. Oh my god! Alright, so now we need a cable. Uh, one. And we need to make a crafting terminal. Now I made a, a stack of the annihilation cores and a stack of the formation cores as well, so we'd be able to do that here. So we go like this, and then if we go crafting terminal, we are going to need to make an ME terminal. That requires us to make illuminated uh, this guy here. So, you know what we really need that would be super helpful? Is a crafting table out here so let's start off with let's start off with the basics crafting table and we'll just put it over here for now out in this area so bam so now we can go down to this panel bam nailed it uh, we will make just three that is the smallest amount we can make now oh we need uh, these guys and bam no wait <laughs> Bam! And now we need another crafting bench. Do we have enough wood? Oh my god, are we out of wood? We have duplicator tree wood. Can we make can we make planks with that? Sweet! Alright, so we can go ahead and make this guy, and then now, ugh, little lag, we will make the crafting terminal. Nailed it! A stick can we stop, baby! Squirt! And now we can see in here, and there's nothing here. Alright, so nothing there. What are we going to do to get something there? Oh, also, I made the rare earth magnet from uh, the Practicalities mod. If you're unfamiliar with this mod and you live in a cave and don't know what's good, um, then you don't know it. But in the, the rare earth magnet is the best magnet I've ever played in any mod uh, game. And it's really easy to make. You need the item magnet, which is the radiant core, very straightforward, and magnetic south which is this, and Magnetic North, which is the same thing with Redstone. And then you just make three more Radiant Cores. This thing will pick up anything, any item, basically, that is in render distance. And it doesn't matter if it's through walls, 
or anything like it's automated so like watch if we were to come back through here and we were to drop our bow right there and then we were to come over to this side and then we were over here and we go like this ready squirt bam bow it automatically comes into it there's no like ting 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 as things are underneath you if you harvest it it's in your inventory instantly it is the most amazing thing and you may notice it says get all the stuff and things uh, not to toot my own horn, but the magnet was kind of designed for Slipgator because I hated all the other magnets I've ever played with, and Joe Tato, the mod author, made this magnet in, in, to make an improvement of other magnets, and it's the best! So anyway, I just wanted to tell you that. So, alright, now we've got this. Let's come over here. Let's grab some of our ME cable. Now, let's squirt this down right there like so. We are going to need an um, import bus. I do. Well, you know what? I've never played with the IO port, and I think that that's something that we can use. I think that this will work a lot faster. Uh, we need two drives, which I think we have. Oh, we have just two. All right. That means we'll pop that off. Squirt one of those down on there. So. I think we can use the drive to make things work a little bit better, um, the I.O. drive. Now, is, if we were to do an import bus, for instance, let's just go ahead and see what this requires. So we need a sticky piston for that, um, and I'm not sure if I had made any. There's a piston. Uh, can we make it sticky? Sure can. Bam. Bam. Nailed it! Alright, and now we can pop over to here. And we could just make this for nowsies until we start duping. Oh, wait. Do we not have, what, iron? We need iron. Is there, is there any iron in any of the amazing million chests that we have? We have some there. Okay. So now we can pop over here and go ahead and craft this guy. Bam, nailed it. Aced it. Cannot be stopped. Popping that in there. And now any chest we set down here will quite slowly filter into the AE system. Um, so what we really need to do now, and this is all going to work out as long as we don't start using more than eight channels, everything is going to work out here. Um, and we don't really need any more than that. What we really want to focus on now is 1060K, 64K storage drives um, inside of here. And then it, that's it. I think that'll be enough, definitely, for us to start getting the quarry online. And this is all we need. I mean, we need just the import, we got energy, and that's it. We just need 10 more or nine more of those drives. So I want to play around that IO port, like I was saying. Did you just happen to dupe super fast? I've never used it before, and I've had a couple people comment that it's a much faster way to import items. Um, so I think we're going to play around with that as well. Um, we can probably put all this stuff away. You know what we'll do? We'll just make sure we're keeping a little bit organized here. We'll put all this stuff away, and the next uh, order of business would be that we'd want to focus on. Uh, yeah, we're just squirt this. It's gonna be so disorganized. But what, once we get like the AE system online, the disorganization will go away because we'll just put everything inside of there. Also, right now, all the this cactus farm is overproducing, so all the cactus that falls automatically sucks into my inventory from the super magnet of amazingness. Uh, so let's pop in it and pop the wrench inside of here. But, um, yeah, so that'll all go away. But the next thing we really got to work on is the quarry. So, one of the reasons why I made the books. Um, so, to get into this guy, we're really only going to ever need one of these. So, we've got to get into the endothermic pump. We've made the ender-infused obsidian. That's a thing. Now, magical wood, we need to make, well, four of these. We, I could say eight, but really we need four. So in order to make four of these, we need some enchanted books. We're going to need 16 enchanted books. Now, I already made a bunch of enchanted books. They're really simple to make. Here we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, of course. So we need to make one more. Uh-huh. Uh, 1, 2, 3. And we have leather. Tell me that's why. Oh, crap. We don't have leather. Uh, how do we make leather in this pack? Let us take a look. Magical crops, which we don't have online yet. Hide, which I have no idea what to do with. Magmatic centrifuge. What a pain in the butt. So we make leather in this pack by killing more cows. So um, is there does there happen to be a cow in the area? Uh, 
What we need, yeah, so, but I wanted to show you how to make the books real quick. The enchanted books, they're really simple to do. All you've got to do, there might be another piece of leather here, actually. Let me see. No. So, all you've got to do is find a cow. And we're back, and I think I have got everything done to make the quarry. It's been a lot of crafting, man. This beginning parts of games is hard sometimes with all this crafting. Once we get the quarry up and running and everything's good to go there, it's going to be amazing. So I'm um, not going to use the I.O. port, actually. I thought of a different way. We could just use the um, an ME interface, an AE interface, right on the Tesseract in order to get this going. Now, we don't have this thing set to private yet, so we just put a quarry on here, and we have it set for item mode receive. I have another Tesseract here. I made two of the endothermic pumps. I made the diamond etched computational matrix. The endothermic pumps were pretty straightforward. Those are there. The diamond etched and computational matrix is easy. We had the burnt quartz already from the dupe farm, so all that stuff was good to go. We've got to get two of these ender cores going. We have the infused obsidian. We need the magical wood. Um, I have some up there. We're going to go and grab it. I also made one of the ender markers, and I put those on for duping, so we've got some of those going as well. Um, we need to make the silk touch upgrade, too, and that's something we're going to work on, too. So, oh, wait, down here is where they are, right? Wait, they're on the bottom floor, I think. So we need eight of these bad boys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those are super easy to harvest. Two, three, four. All right, so that should be all of those guys. Now, if we head over to our crafting table, we should be able to make those two guys up like a so, uh, like a this, like this, and then bam, we got two of those. Now, all we need is, I think, a sapling, which I think we have a sapling. I mean, we might as well, yeah, let's just use oak sapling. That should work, and then we should have our, our quarry. We should be good to go here. So, let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, wait, isn't it going to do it? Oh, we need a diamond pick. Crapo. Okay, so diamond pick, two sticks. Oh, wait, two sticks, I said. Bam. All right, more sticks, fine. So let's go ahead and then we'll just make this guy, bam, nail that. A stick can't be stopped. Um, I don't think it's going to automatically do this for us. So what was the recipe like of that? So two of these guys, computational matrix. Where are, are these guys right here? Two of these guys right here. Well, I don't know. Nailed it! Ace it can't be stopped! So now, the Silk Touch upgrade is a Silk Touch pick, one Ender Quarry upgrade base, which we have to make uh, over in here. So let's go ahead and stick that in the QED. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff to be done! So it was four of these, right, and then one of these guys? Wait, crapo. I got it backwards. Bam, 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 bam. One of these guys and four of these guys. Nailed it. Bam! Alright, so the next thing we gotta do in order to do this is to make a silk touch pick. Now, there's a really easy way with Ender.io to do that. We've got an enchanter right here. It took forever to make this thing um, because it needed the dark steel. So, in order to make that, it was um, iron, coal powder, and obsidian, but it takes a long time for it to make uh, one. And so I made nine, put one uh, block up on the dupe farm there, and then I made the enchanter right here. So we needed a book and quill and a slime ball, and then bam, soak touch book, nailed it! And then we come over and here, like a so, I think we have enough levels left, 55 still, bam, soak touch. So also, um, I think I was going to show you about how to make the enchanted books. I have the leather right here. I forgot about talking to you guys about this. It's really easy to make those enchanted books. Um, so what you want to do is just make yourself a book. I went and got some leather so I could do this. And then all you've got to do, do I have them in here, is get emeralds. I only needed one, wait, well, I only needed four of these books and I made one of the magic cores. So, all right, all you need is an emerald. And then if you just put these inside of a crafting grid like so, it's going to give you a flim flam book. So that's all you've got to do in order to make the enchanted books for the enchanted magic wood core bits or whatever they're called. All right, so also the magnet is great, but boy, do I have a lot of apples and cactus in my inventory all the time now. So, uh, and leather we can squirt inside of there. All right, so now we've got our quarry. Let's go ahead and grab four markers. I think we're ready to do this. Three, four markers. I've got ten exciter upgrades and an exciter to transmit power. We've got the ender quarry. We've got our tesseract. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so, no, silk touch upgrade. we got to finish making that thing. So, um... 
Let's go ahead and take a look real quick at what the recipe is. Two redstone bits. Do I have some redstone lying around over here? I do. So um, now we should be good to go with this. Is it not going to make it? Of course not. So like this, like this, like this, and like that. Now power upgrades and the other things we can get into in a little bit. It's not something I'm worried about straight away. We've got to go to the quarry dimension now and get it all set up. Also, this is an awesome um, Minicio, Minicio uh, essence farm, by the way, is just having the salt next to um, our ants. So yeah, but we want to find a red ant, go to the mining dimension, and set this thing up. That's going to, probably going to be what we're going to get done today. I just want to make sure that this thing works. We want to make sure that it's actually inputting items into the system, and then we should be good to go. Um, after that, we can get into expanding it and doing all of that. Now, like I was saying, I can't figure out any way to teleport from one place to the other um, in this pack right now. So, it looks like that I have to wait for ants again. And we're back! And I got our markers all set up here, and I've set the red ant nest, or found a red ant nest, and set it right over in this area here. Um, so, we should be good to go. And as far as finding this again, I think actually because we update the pack and stuff like that, I'm just going to write down the coordinates. 1591, 230 in the positives all right so now wait no right, there we go if we squirt this bad boy down bam it's a thing and it should be red oh, the, oh no we squirted on an ant crap we could red oh man there better be a red ant over here <laughs> look at our, our farm oh i think there was one oh, oh god now we gotta wait for more red ants and we're back all right so now let's go ahead and what do you even being a problem for i just want oh god it's such a pain in the butt so there's our silk touch upgrade right there like so now if we are to take our tesseract and squirt it onto there we can then hook it up to quarry uh turn that on item mode send and then turn these guys off so item mode send only quarry bam big a bam so if we right click i don't know why these guys want to be oh they're trying to attack me so right now it says zero block scan let's go ahead and stick this bad boy on here and then let us go ahead and hit 10 exciter upgrades. Bam, it's a thing. 21, 25, 30 block scan, 34 block scan. All right, so now let's squirt back and come over here and see in the system if it's working, which I think it is. I just, I don't know. This should work. I just don't ever use. <gasps> We've got items. Items are coming into the system. We have created a quarry. I am a dragon standing on top of a quarry. Never has this happened before in any of my series. I am a very small dragon and not very intimidating, although my voice sounds quite intense right now. But, yeah, and my tail is quite happy. And we're back in the scariest place on Earth until you turn down the hostile mob volume. And then it's quite peaceful, actually. But um, in the last episode, when we started doing this, you know what we gotta do? This causes us some problems. Let's take these out right here there that's better so um in the last episode where we did the, the uh, quantum flux stuff you guys were saying these cpes in the corners weren't transmitting any power because they weren't connected that is exactly right i am taking damage but it doesn't matter so you were exactly right oh these don't need to be there but these ones can the corner ones can now so i also noticed i know i'm taking damage and it's a huge annoying thing but what ifs we got to in order to place these down so um once i hooked up i can't fly right now either Ugh. Oh, well, there you can see it. So see how our power system is going down right now? This is coming from the quarry. We're generating a good amount of power, and it's staying kind of close. Oh, wait. Nah, it's still going down a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, very slowly but surely it's going down. So um, it's not good. No bueno. So what I'm going to do is, let me see, can I reach it from here without taking damage? We can do this at the very least. We're going to hook up a huge amount more of the ZPEs to the system here and in the hopes that that will start to give us positive net gain on our power generation so let's go ahead and pop those guys on like that let's do one uh line over here and then maybe another we'll just do four of them if i have enough cable all right we got a good amount of cable we'll do some lines over here like this and some lines over here like this in the hopes that i don't think we're generating more power than the cable can handle but just make just to make sure uh let's pop over and get these guys real quick and then we'll get back on the top so that we're not taking any damage. Also, real fast as well, why don't we place some torch action down here? Oh, what? No way, I died? No way! I died down there. I didn't think I was taking that much damage. That's so weird. Oh, man. Okay. We have a rescue operation to conduct now. 
Actually, we have spare armor. Hello, extended armor bits. Uh, no, wait, probably lapis would be good. Let's go ahead and squirt that on. And then let's just grab a pick really fast. Uh, any pick that is emerald will do. Let us uh, become a <clears throat> baby dragon. And then we should be able to quite easily recover our stuff and things. Oh, look at my cute little death point. All right, so let's pop down here and recover our stuff. Hopefully, it is fine. I'm hoping everything is good. There it is. So we've got to be... Let me see here. Nope, not that one. Am I getting you? Oh, I'm not getting it. No. This. Do we have to break the block underneath it? We're doing it. Nailed it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, as long as we got our magnet. That's really the most important thing. So we've got our magnet. Uh, let's do this. And we'll squirt that out. Let's go ahead and squirt some stuff into the bag so that we start to pick up everything. Okay, there. We're good to go. So, and then let's just make... Oh, my God. My inventory is so cheesed right now. Let's make a couple of spots, and then we'll take off this stuff. I didn't think we were taking that much damage. Ultimate boots, ultimate pants. All right, all right. So that was so scary, man. I was like, "What happened? Why did we even what?" But we're good. So let me just take, keep an eye on my on my health now. From Joe Tato's mod of death. So and then we'll put another CPE down here, back where it goes. I hope. All right. Is our wiring all good to go? All we wanted to do was put down some torches, man. All right, weird. Now I'm not taking that damage. Maybe I'm not close enough? I don't know. Oh, there we go. It must have something to do with the fact that I'm a dragon. Maybe my size is differently different now. But let's just take a look and see. Do we have a net gain of power now? Oh, wow. We are right floating on the edge. No, I don't think... I don't think even with this setup we've got a positive net gain gain now it is right on the edge I don't think it's going down <laughs> but I don't think it's going up either oh wait 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 we're clicked right at the t at the max okay no yes we are doing fine so what it's doing I was I wasn't paying attention so we're hitting the maximum and then we're it's coming down a little bit but yeah no now we're good to go now we're creating enough power to power the quarry um, and everything is amazing Perfect. Nailed it! ASIC can't be stopped. Now, I think it's night, but we can be a dragon and talk to you guys now. So, as always, I want to thank you guys so much for all your previous support on the DerpyCraft stuff and things. Make sure if you like this video, you hit the like button as well. I can't wait to start getting to building stuff. I have some really great ideas to do some integration with the dupe trees with the AE system. I want to do some really cool... I don't know. I, I think about the... Tell me what you think about the underwater base. I don't know if we want to do an underwater base. Look how fast I run with my little legs. They're so cute. So, tell me what you think about that stuff, too. But, yeah. So, if you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share favorite as you see fit and may the stuff and things be with you